before I start things off, I want to thank you all for watching this video and I hope you enjoy this as much as I do because this has been something I've been wanting to work on for almost a year now, but things came up and I couldn't really work on it and I just kind of got a little lazy, but I finally did it and with that being said, I hope you all enjoy this and thank you for watching. The first thing you're greeted with when you hop into Gran Turismo Sport is music. I feel like the music in this game has a bigger role than the game itself. If I were to describe the music in this game in one word I couldn't because the music has me at a loss of words. I could spend hours upon hours in the lobby listening to the music and not get tired of it at all. It's not just the music that makes this game great but it's the gameplay and features that it offers that makes it great. With a wide variety of cars from multiple countries you can select well known cars from manufacturers and customize them to your fittings and needs. There are a set of challenges you're able to do in each course of the game allowing you to learn more about each track and get an advantage that others might not know about when you play them. The game also provides different type of racing such as going bumpy and dirty on rally tracks, classic tracks that racing enthusiasts admire, and tracks that are just plain out beautiful. Playing online may be a bit rough, but when you find the right server, you find others who share the same interests as you such as F1 racing, cruising, regular racing, and the list may go on and on. The part I like the most about this game is that they allow the community to get involved in various ways such as being able to create custom liveries for all the cars in the game. Being able to create custom helmets and racing suits so you can look a bit flashy when racing. And lastly, you're able to create photos of your cars and nice and luxurious sceneries and you could share these photos to the whole community. A great thing the developers of this game did is to reward players for racing and playing the game in general, such as every time you race you get distance points that allows you to get a new car off a spin. While it may be hard to earn money to buy cars in game, it is pretty easy to earn them if you're consistently playing the game and while others have found their various ways of earning their money, it is still not too tricky to earn money. The part of this game I've been wanting to cover is the soundtrack. The soundtrack for this game is a kiss from the developers. This soundtrack provides a wide variety of music from various artists I've never heard of and you probably may not know as well, but that shouldn't drive you away from it because it's phenomenal. The different tones and style of music this soundtrack has would be calm slash peaceful. Upbeat slash funky. A music that sounds godlike. While all the songs aren't composed by the same artist, they still feel like they all belong together and it's an amazing ride of a roller coaster if you listen in one go. I've spent hours upon hours up by night looking at different liveries of cars while just listening to the astonishing music that this game has to offer. This soundtrack would be one of two soundtracks from a video game I could listen to every day and not get tired of because of how well put the songs are and give you a new perspective into the world of racing. I would like for you to at least try and listen to what this soundtrack has to offer and I can bet that you'll at least find one song that you like and if not then that's fine because everyone has their own tastes and preferences. Gran Turismo Sport is more than a racing simulator. It is phenomenal. I want to leave you all with a quick story. I bought this game when I had a steering wheel back in 2019 and it was the only game compatible with the steering wheel so I went into the game without not knowing what it was like and what it had to offer. I deleted it months later but I sold my steering wheel but I redownloaded it out of boredom again and got to experience what I wasn't able to when I first bought it. This Gran Turismo isn't given enough respect and credit that it deserves but I'm sure people will come to realize as I did. That's all I have to really say about this game. I once again thank you all for listening to me and watching the video. I will be leaving a link in the description of the soundtrack so if you want to give it a listen it's there. The question I have for you the viewer would be, what drives you?